Weight loss with diet and exercise is a sign of good health. Not losing weight with diet and exercise is a sign of health problems. But here's the kicker. You're probably trying to lose weight with diet and exercise to improve your health. But your health is the reason why you're not losing weight with diet and exercise. That's a catch-22. So let me help. If you haven't, check out part one and two to give this video context. This video is an outline of a 12-week program to get you back on track. 12 weeks may seem like a long time, but if you just continue to hammer on with diet and exercise, or binge and stop training, it'll put you back even longer, sometimes years. So lock away the scales and resist the urge to go on a junk food bender. Now people seem to lose weight exists on a spectrum. On one end, there's the physics-based, calories in, calories out focused, where your body, where your food, analyze and chart everything. The more precise you are with your calculations, the better your weight loss will be. On the other end is the biology-based, hormone-focused, toss the scales, listen to your body, get in tune with yourself, don't chart or calculate. The more in touch with your body's reaction, the better your weight loss will be. Both are effective, and everybody lies somewhere on this spectrum. If you're struggling with weight loss, find your solution from the best parts of both ends. If you've broken your health with your diet, it's going to take time, effort, and energy to mend it. But repair is still your best option, because currently there's no tech or gadget that can mend your own health. And if you do heal your health, you'll learn something life-changing about you in the process. One. Health, and particularly endocrine issues, can create havoc with weight loss. And solving endocrine issues is a complex subject. But simply put, hormones need fat for their production. The glands need protein for their regeneration. And the cells need a steady and sufficient flow of blood glucose so that they're not working in an emergency state all the time. So you need to normalize your calorie intake. That means going back up to normal maintenance calories and adding 200. You need to take yourself out of starvation to heal your health. And if you've also eliminated food groups, you need to add them back in. If you bin the fats or carbs, add them back in and drop the other so that the total calories are the same. If you cut the carbs, then you'll probably have to supersaturate the body with fruit sugar to calm it back down again. If you cut the fat, then it's higher fat for you. If you just cut the calories though, maintenance plus 200 should take care of that. Your protein could be up to 25% of your calories. That leaves 75% for your fats and carbs. You're aiming to equalize them, 37.5% over a few weeks. Keep the quality of the food high though. As an adjunct to this, you can also look at supplementing the adrenal and thyroid function with tablets. I've seen these work really well, but you can also try ashwagandha and rhodiola, which have a calming effect on the adrenals. You'll know if it works, because after a month, you'll feel better. More balanced, less fraught, no cravings, more in control. Two, during this time, maintain or improve your muscle mass. This means resistance training. Free weights or machines. Reps can range from 5 to 25, but it's not so much about the reps. It's the reps in relation to the weight and the exertion. Some people like higher reps, others lower. Both are successful. It's what works for you. Whatever the rep range you do, the issue is the strain. You need that same level of exertion as if you're trying to take the lid off a jar or pull the cork out of a bottle. You know that? <laughs> if you can work at that effort for 8 or more reps, then you're golden. You want to do 40 to 50 efforts in total, so from that you can work out the sets. I believe in compound movements and free weights, but only if you know how to do them. If you don't, and you don't want to learn, then use machines. Either one will increase muscle mass, and the pros and cons of them is beyond this problem. Just progress in reps and weight. Pay special attention though to rebalancing your stabilizer muscles and core, and train your core every single day. Three. Your biomechanics are vital, even if you're doing machine weights. Biomechanics are a huge topic, needing multi-videos. But if there were four tips, they'd be retract your scapula, pull your belly button into your spine, bend with your hips, and keep the arch in your foot in every movement. Four, in 
ensure your VO2 max, which is a measure of how well your body utilizes oxygen and is a measure of your aerobic capacity, is normal. Fat burning is an aerobic activity. If you've got a good aerobic system, then you'll burn fat efficiently. If you don't, then you'll use sugar more, making you crave sugar more in everyday life and making your body less efficient at burning fat. Rough rule of thumb. A normal VO2 max will allow you to cover 5 kilometers in 30 minutes. Any slower than that is a red light. If jogging's a trial though, do on a gym bike with wattage is a progressive test. Start at 80 or 100 watts and increase by 10 watts per minute until you can't do a full minute. Record that wattage and then go to the link in the description and input the data. If the figure's below 35, that's a red light. Neither is precise, but both are an indication, and that's all we need. Once you've resolved step one to four, if you want, you can go back and try diet and exercise again. In the 12 week healing time, try and re-channel the frustration that you feel with the lack of weight loss into improving on the other fronts. If you're trying to diet and exercise, then health was probably a part of the reason. This detour is still in the same direction and will still get you there quicker than if you have to get towed to the garage Worse than that, return home. Mental doggy bag time. One, normalize your food intake again. Two, increase muscle mass. Get stronger and more balanced, especially in your shoulders, hips, back, and abs. Three, do it with correct biomechanics. Four, ensure that your VO2 max is roughly normal. Five, allow at least 12 weeks, and then if you feel ready, go back and try and lessen your calories or food group restrict if you feel that you have to. But remember, the fifth is a temporary measure that leverages off your good health. To reach diet and exercise, you're balancing off your health. And even though you're doing it for your health, prolonged dieting for most will weaken it. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button. And if you think it's bona fide, then please subscribe. Whoops.